You're watching Action News Now. Storm Tracker weather. Coverage you can count on. We're tracking that massive winter storm moving across the northeast after causing havoc in many other parts of the country. A tornado touched down in Alabama. That's what you're looking at here. Cutting through homes, shredding trees that littered roadways, and even caused enough flooding to swallow vehicles. Then in parts of Ohio, the mixture of freezing rain, sleet, and ice forced officials to declare a level two emergency, warning drivers to stay off the highways. In Texas, the sub-freezing temperatures are leaving thousands without electricity. Chief Meteorologist Jason Stiff is tracking the path of this storm. Jason, you know, I'm keeping an eye on this. My sister, as I've mentioned, she lives in Texas. She has a business and. I talked to her this morning. Her attitude was, it's just cold. Why? What's everybody <laughs> freaking out about? But, mm -hmm. um, you know, this is, looks very serious for a lot of people out there. Yeah, just wait until tomorrow morning because Texas in particular is going to get even colder, much like it did a year ago. We still have areas of rain and snow up and down the eastern seaboard, but look at this national map and look at Texas, both south of Houston and also around the Dallas-Fort Worth area, those big purple areas. Those are hard freeze warnings for the Lone Star State. Temperatures are going to be dropping down to the single digits and teens. Now we get that here all the time, especially in the higher terrain, but in Texas, that is uncommon. So it's going to be very cold there for the eastern seaboard. We have most of that snow now moving out of New England, moving toward the the Atlantic provinces of Canada will saw some lingering rain and snow showers for the eastern seaboard, but it's been a messy one for many areas. For us, it hasn't been messy. We would like messy. We have a lot of clouds outside. All it's doing is providing an unbelievably pretty sunset. Look at this one. Now, if this is Sauron, if we're looking at Mordor right now, I'm going to be really upset, but that is a gorgeous sunset looking beautiful. Those high clouds will keep us a little bit milder tomorrow morning, as well as the breezes that are going to start developing. Right now, 61 degrees in Red Bluff and Oroville, 63 degrees in Redding, as well as Chico, 62 degrees, still nice and mild in Weaverville and Bernie. Not bad for this hour and this time of year, 51 degrees. No one has strong wind right now, but that will begin to pick up by sunrise tomorrow morning. And Saturday, we're going to have windy to locally breezy weather for many locations, especially in the valley and the foothills, mountains, not so much. So here's all the clouds creating that beautiful sunset for us. This is the tail end of that cold front that's well to our northeast. I've been tracking it all week. It's up in eastern Oregon, moving into western Idaho, but still tracking a lot of clouds over us. Now we're going to lose most of those clouds by tomorrow morning. We could have a pretty looking sunrise, but we're not going to have those clouds for very long. We'll have a lot of sunshine during the afternoon, plenty of sunshine on Sunday too. However, what this doesn't reveal is the wind that we're expecting. That will start pushing our direction as we move into the latter part of the weekend. Now, looking at the expecting the next six to seven days, this ridge of high pressure back in control of our weather. It'll allow a few clouds into our sky, but no good chances for any rain or snow, at least through this time next week. And more than likely, we may have to wait until after Valentine's Day, if not further into the future, for a good chance for the rain and snow that we still really need. So as far as that weekend, wind is concerned. The breezes will start blowing tomorrow morning. Going to get stronger in the afternoon and evening hours. Not quite as strong as it was Tuesday and Wednesday, but we're still going to have some more gusty wind at times and lingering breezes on Sunday. I believe Saturday will be a little bit windier than Sunday. Nothing we can't handle. Probably not worthy of an advisory, but it will definitely not be as quiet as it was today. Here's your forecast for tomorrow. We're going to have lows in the 20s and highs in the 50s and lower to mid 60s for Trinity County and western Siskiyou County. Looking really nice and mild with very little wind there. For northeastern California, cold tonight with a few more high clouds overhead. Lows in the teens and 20s with highs in the mild 50s. For the ridge, we'll have some breezes developing, so not twice as cold as it has been. Combine that with the high clouds. We're going to keep the lows in the 40s. Highs I mean those mild 60s. For the valley, also those breezes by tomorrow morning combined with those high clouds. Keeping the overnight lows a little bit milder in the mid to upper 30s. Highs back in the lower 70s. Almost 15 degrees warmer than average. About 13 to 14 degrees where it should be. And for the Chico area, lows tonight in the 30s, highs tomorrow in the lower 70s. And look where the next seven days are going temperature-wise. For Chico, up to 75 degrees for high Wednesday and Thursday. Unfortunately, no rain this forecast, no snow for the mountains. For Redding, 70s across the board with upper 70s most of next week. Thanks, Jason. We